I took like a couple days off and I feel like now I'm just kind of like, I gotta go through so much stuff. All right, so I have been purging, decluttering, intentionally trying to live more of a minimal, more of a minimalistic lifestyle for a little over a month now. It feels a lot longer than that. I don't know why, but it feels a lot longer than that. And I feel like recently I've been kind of in a little bit of like a slump. <laughs> I had like so much energy and so much motivation to purge and declutter and then I took like a couple days off and I feel like now I'm just kind of like, I gotta go through so much stuff. I've been kind of just like in a slump lately and just, just not honestly feeling like myself that I have been kind of struggling with some postpartum depression and just not feeling very good at all. So I think that has kind of contributed to it. But I will say when I was decluttering and I was purging and I had all this motivation, it was helping me so much. Like it helped me feel a lot better. So I need to start doing that again because I feel like it's going to help me to feel better. But um, I was posting on Instagram updates of everything I was doing and then I kind of stopped posting updates but I continued decluttering and purging but there is so much more to do. So what I want to do is I want to actually like vlog style show you guys what I'm decluttering when I'm doing it because I think those videos are so fascinating and so I'm gonna have to just try to film this and I'm not really good at vlogging but I want to kind of show you guys like a decluttering of my kids toys like how I'm gonna do it how I'm gonna go through all their toys what that's gonna look like um, the kitchen stuff you know stuff in my bedroom like books things like that there's a lot of stuff I still have to get rid of and I have to go through so I have a lot of videos and a lot of content coming up that I want to do documenting this journey but I'd say looking back at my last month the hardest part for me of like the decluttering process I think was some of those like sentimental items like you know the blankets that people made for my kids and I kind of had to decide on keeping the ones that a I really really liked or b the people that made them for my kids were really important or all really important to me you know what I'm saying and it wasn't even like the things I liked it was like the things I use what ones am I reaching for which ones are bringing me joy and which ones are really important because the people that put their time and their energy into knitting or crocheting or making this are people that are really important to our life so this is gonna hold a lot of value to me um, as my kids get older you know these are things that I'm going to keep to pass to my children as blankets baby blankets for them those kind of special things so that was the hardest part. I think one of the best feelings is the initial decluttering of just like getting rid of stuff and like you just feel light and that was the best feeling for me. I can think a lot clearer when I don't have clutter. I don't feel bogged down by things and I just felt a lot, a lot, a lot better. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I posted that we ended up getting rid of our TV. We put it like in our storage room downstairs in the basement and our TV stand and our cable thing and like everything. We put it all downstairs in the basement and then my husband had a business trip and my mom was gonna come stay with us. So we brought the TV back up for like three days simply because, hello, I'm not perfect. And I was like, I need a crutch because it's gonna be real hard to take care of these kids by myself for three days. And my mom wanted to rent movies and you know, do the whole grandma thing. But now I need to move our TV back downstairs, which I should have never done it because I feel like moving it back downstairs again, the kids are gonna be like, what? You brought it back up and now it's gone again. But um, I don't know, it's one of those things that's kind of like hindsight 2020, like I probably should have done it, but whatever. I needed something to help me get through some of those days, so hey no judgment over here. My wardrobe is pretty much downsized except for now I feel like it's very boring. I don't know I need to kind of go through and really decide what I like because I don't feel like I like very much of it. <laughs> I feel like I just kept what I wore but I didn't really have a lot of things that I wore that I actually really liked. 
So I need to go through it and be intentional about possibly picking up a few other pieces and you know putting things together that I actually like because I've been getting really bored with it. So I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll do a video kind of documenting my capsule wardrobe journey and what that looks like. Right now it's pretty boring so maybe it'll get more exciting or maybe because I'm going to do a video it'll turn into something more exciting because I want it to be exciting for you guys. But Alright so that is an update of my minimalism journey right now. I'm hoping to kind of start back up and go full force just because it makes me feel so much better and I just can think a lot clearer. So yeah yeah, thank you guys so much for your interest. Comment down below if you are also in a journey of minimalism. What does it look like for you? Where are you at? Do you make videos? Share your links. I love finding good content that is relevant and is, you know, encouraging to me. Or you guys left a bunch of really cool channels down below in my last minimalism video. And I was like, love, I was checking out all these people. I was, you know, stalking all their social media because I'm like, you are amazing. So yeah, comment down below and leave me some more if you got some. So I love you guys. I hope you're all blessed. I hope you're doing good. And I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye. -bye.